We've all imagined what the world will look like in the future. Allow me, if you will, a vision rooted in our rapidly evolving present. A world where all citizens are implanted with brain chips. Brain chips that allow them to experience virtual worlds. Virtual worlds as real as real life. Then imagine a society recreated and molded by an artificial superintelligence designed to save the world. To do so, it decided mankind must be contained. Submitted for your approval, the aforementioned containers. A utopia where mankind is free to explore the limits of his capabilities. An Orwellian dystopia where mankind is under complete control and a cyberpunk megapolis where mankind is free. But it's a freedom wrought with danger in these three sci-fi tropes. A story will unfold that will take you through worlds of brutal violence, political intrigue, and metaphysical transcendence. So lean back in a comfortable chair and push the upload button. You've just jacked into the interface. dream of falling and hit the ground in that dream, you die in real life. I'm starting to believe I've been dead for a long time. May 6th. Thank God for the rain. It's helped to clean the garbage and blood off the streets and put out all the fires from the protests. I've been on this case for two years now. Or has it been a year? Uh, I don't know. I lost all track of time. This was supposed to be my dream job. An undercover assignment to track down the most wanted man in the world. Lazarus. For all intents and purposes, that's exactly what it's become. A dream. A waking dream. Of a soul sense of reality. Every night it's the same. I wake up in this shitty apartment and hit the streets looking for Lazarus. Everyone who's ever bought a Lazarus hack bought it directly from the man himself, they say. Yet no one has ever seen him. I'm starting to believe that he's more myth than man. A cipher, a jabberwocky, a metaphor for something everyone is looking for but no one can find. Yet here I am, night after night, hitting the ugliest, most dangerous blocks of the firewall looking for a man who may not exist. You can find him in the hack. That's what they tell me, in the hack. So night after night, I buy hacks and immerse my mind into the most violent, disgusting combat games ever conceived by man. Ooh, I hated them at first. Now, I can't live without them. You feel every blow. Taste the blood in your mouth. You feel your bones break. It's the only time I feel alive. I'm no longer a cop. I'm a junkie. Night after night, it goes on and on and on without change until one night. There was a change. There he was, right there in my shitty apartment, sitting on my shitty little chair. I hear you've been looking for me. If you want answers, meet me. Ten days from now, in the cathedral, on the tower, in the city, in the middle of the sea. And just like that, he was gone. Top story tonight. Violence continues to plague the Firewall District as hundreds of heavily armed street gangs continue to wage war for control of the illegal hat trade.
DCS Chief Avery Lennox vows to bring these gang wars to an end. I want to send a message to the gangs, the criminal element out there that is uh, raging terror on the firewall district that uh, your time is at an end. Mark my words, the DCS will crush this violence and these gangs in two days tops. We at EG News wish Chief Lennox and his team of valiant officers a safe and speedy victory. The gang wars continued for the next two years. The more funding provided to the DCS, the more the fighting seemed to continue. It was almost as if they didn't want it to end. Unexpectedly, the constant violence gave rise to a counterculture movement, the Rapture Movement. Thousands of young people invaded the streets every night and held raves, some just blocks away from the fighting. They would party with brazen disregard to the warring factions, fighting violence with joy, with dancing, with music, with love. There were times, they say, where the bass drops were louder than the gunfire. Yeah, what? Yeah. In the end, it wound up having a profound effect on some of the soldiers as they gave up fighting for fucking. This movement, they say, was spawned by Lazarus himself. Tony Apex. 
been known to buy directly from Lazarus. We planted a rat on him. He makes the buy, we'll record the transaction, move in, nice and easy. Take five at once. Go ahead and disregard the case, we got him. Yeah. Go get him, Lucky Boy. Lazarus, this is DCS-1 Bakari. You are under arrest, motherfucker. Let me see those hands. So you're the man. I think you have an inflated view of me. But you are the Lazarus responsible for the proliferation of the Lazarus hack. I don't know anything about that. Come on, man. We got you on disc. Selling an illegal hack to a common. Got you dead to rights. On disc? You sure about that? Technology can be deceptive at times. Especially the stuff they implant in your brain. Messes with your perception. But come on, Agent McCoy. That's not why I'm here in this room talking to you instead of the intrepid agent still alone. Let's cut the ship. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of it. Yeah. Let's get to meat and potatoes. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. That's uh, Siona right there. Agent Johnston. Siona. How do you know? You sure you want to know? Why wouldn't I want to know? Come on, man. It's written all over your face. Your relationship with Agent Johnson is a little more than professional when you say this. My relationship, huh? My relationship has nothing to do with the bearings on this case. I would say your relationship has all the bearings on this case. You don't give a shit about me. Illegal hacks, jailbreakers, or the hacking underground. Just like everyone else in this stinking place, all you care about is one thing. Just keeping yourself distracted. You go through the motions, make the money, keep the distractions coming in. She? She was quite the distraction, wasn't she? Real. Tangible. Do you know that she's wanted for killing a fully sentient Alec unit? Oh shit, fully sentient. What does that mean? It means she's wanted for murder, motherfucker. But I don't think she did it. In fact, I think you did. And what makes you think that? For starters, the recorded confession. I'm gonna get out of you in this room. There it is. And how are you gonna get me to confess to something I didn't do? Oh, we have our ways. I could lock you in a virtual prison. Solitary confinement for a hundred years. Hundo? It'll be 15 minutes for me. But for you, it'll be a hundred years. But I have a better one. You see, I'm a simple man. I prefer a more simple approach. Simple? Simple approach? Kind of old school. That's a nice right hook. You turn your heel, it'll be devastating. <laughs> That's better. Much better. You like that? You love this. <laughs> ah, savagery. I love it. Let me show you a few things that can help you out. The fuck off. Ah! 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 Russell violence, Agent Bakari. It's a repressed rage, sexual frustration, feelings of powerlessness. Ah! 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 
Acknowledge that despite all of your strengths and abilities, you're just another disposable cog in a world too fast for you to ever understand. Think about it, Agent Bakari. We'll be in touch. Where, where is he? Where's who? Yes, sir. What the fuck? How's that hack working for you? Don't know. I want to fight. I need to take it to the next level. They told you why you have to run the gauntlet. Authenticity, to make my cover seem legit. Did they tell you the percentage rate of people that survived the gauntlet? No. Zero. William Gibson once said, the future is there, looking back at us, trying to make sense of the fiction we will have become. So what does the future hold in store for us? The storytellers. Will we tell tales about that fateful period in history when we almost lost it all to the thinking machines we designed as our servants? Or will robots spin whimsical yarns about the strange and magical creatures made of flesh who created them but who ultimately perished due to their unfortunate predilection towards greed, violence, and self-destruction. The answers to these and other mystifying questions lie deep within the labyrinthine code of the interface.
Yo, I made this.